What's going on? What's going on, everybody? It's your host slash DJ. It's your boy Duke out here, man, a.k.a. The Wolf of Crypto. As we are about to end September, go into October, obviously, we're, I would say we're ending on a bad note since, you know, we did take a decline, but it's not all bad news. Looking forward to October. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I had to bring out some, you know, historical snapshots of last year in October of where the crypto market was, where some of these coins were at, especially price wise, obviously. And a little interested to see how we're going to come into this next month. Are we going to be stagnant? Or should we see maybe a little crease? Because right now, um, if you were to look at the co uh, the current market cap right now, it's at two hundred twelve billion. Bitcoin's been playing at that eight thousand, eighty one hundred, seventy nine hundred. It's been in those type of ranges the last I would say the last couple of days. Again, we're having a lot of reds, um, a lot of reds, a lot of reds. Curious to see. Uh, Monday, where we'll be at, and then obviously, like I said, October, what type of month we're gonna be having? And I think right now, I feel like I feel like the market is trying to find that next potential bottom. Uh, I know the last what I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, the last bottom that we might have saw before a little run was if i'm not mistaken let's see right now it's september if i went back to maybe like around maybe mile march or april if i'm not mistaken we had you know those bottoms actually let me let's see if i can find uh the actual prices so i'm gonna go to that's one thing about coin market cap guys if you're not using that <clears throat> it's a great tool um <laughs> literally has a ton of information so let's go let's go to 2018 around like let's go around like march 18th around that time to see what we got yeah see even okay so even looking at march bitcoin this is march 18th 2018 a couple months ago bitcoin was at that 82 range uh let's see if i can Go back a little further into history. So let's say let's, let's go to let's go to February eighteenth. February eighteenth, twenty eighteen. Oh wow, that's not a good time to go to. So I think yeah, because look at that February Bitcoin was at ten thousand. <sighs> the good old days. <laughs> Just kidding. It was at ten thousand not too long ago, but Ethereum was almost at thousand, which. Right now, Ethereum's like, what, $175, something like that, somewhere around that range. So let's see if I can go back to maybe, was it, maybe it was around May. I'm trying to find the time frame where Bitcoin was pretty, pretty significantly low before it obviously had that crazy run. Because we had like a little pre- pre-summer bull run i would say it was like oh wow look bitcoin was just right here and then all of a sudden just shot up a couple thousand and then stayed there for a while so yeah even like june 3rd 2018 bitcoin's at 77 20 uh shoot ethereum was at 618 dollars litecoin was at 125 dollars litecoin right now is on south 50 i think it's like 54 dollars and I'm going to talk about some different coins just to keep your eye out on because talk about easy gains, man. 
there's some definite potential for that. Oh, am I tripping? Yeah, my bad, y'all. I was in 2018. I meant to go to 2019. That's my bad. Hold on. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Yep, my bad, y'all. I was looking at the 2018 stats. That's 2019. So, again, March 3rd, 2019, Bitcoin's price was at 38.47, close to 4,000. And mind you, we were at that price for a while. Like, I'm talking about, let's see if I can find the next one. Let's go. So that was March. Yeah, so, okay, here we go. So that's May. So let's go to April. So if we go to, yeah, so... Okay, here we go. This is the data I was looking for. I got the data. All right. So, like I said, March, Bitcoin was at, you know, 3,000, 4,000. That was somewhat of the bottom. That was like the cheapest, the lowest it was going to go before, you know, sharp back up. And that's exactly what it did. So, if we look at April 14th, 2019, Bitcoin was at $5,167. So, from March to April, it just, boom, jumped. And it didn't stop there. You go to May, like I said earlier, May it's May nineteenth, twenty nineteen. <laughs> Bitcoin's at eight thousand one hundred ninety seven dollars. So you see the increment increments, right? From February, March, no, March, April, May. Bitcoin went up what? Basically, Twenty-five, three thousand. I would say what each month. I don't have a calculator on me right now, but the point is, it took a crazy increase from literally three thousand dollars, like thirty-three hundred. I want to say that was like the very, very bottom. You get to May, eight thousand, eight thousand. March. April, May, 8,000. So I want to take a look at some snapshots of October from 2018. So if we go back to October 2018, this is October 7th, 2018. All these stats and data is according to CoinMarketCap. So you guys can go check it out for yourselves. Bitcoin was at 6,600. October 7th, 2018. Ethereum, $226. Ripple, $0.48. Cents. Bitcoin Cash, $517. EOS, 5 bucks and 76 cents. Stellar was at, holy smoly. Stellar was at $0.24. Cents. Stellar was almost a quarter. Ooh. Litecoin, $58. Cardano, $0.08. Cents. Monero, uh, $113. Tron was at two cents. IOTA, 57 cents. Dash was at 180. Binance Coin, man, Binance Coin was at $10.52. And let me go to, shoot, even, oh, oh, wow. So Binance Coin right now is at $15.29. Mind you, Binance Coin was like like at 30 bucks during that, that run I was talking about pre-summer. All right, so let's go back. Uh, Neo was at eighteen dollars. I know Neo's under ten bucks right now. Uh, Ethereum Classic was at ten, basically eleven dollars. Uh, Zcash was at one hundred twenty-five dollars. Uh, let's see, Ontology was at dollar ninety-three. Yeesh. ZRX was at seventy-three cents. Uh, Lisk was at three dollars and thirty-two cents. Quantum was at three bucks and eighty four cents. Uh, Nano was at two dollars and fifteen cents. Uh, I'm trying to think what's some other ones. Icon sixty seven cents. Uh, Bat was oh Bat was at seventeen cents. Mm. I'm trying to think what's some other ones that are pretty noticeable. Walton Chain two bucks and basically three dollars. Um. 
Shoot, good coin chairs were only a dollar eighteen. Trying to think where are some other coins that are shoot MCO is that basically at four dollars and fifty cents. Uh Nexo was at ten cents. Let's see. Mm. So Ami's Go was at three dollars and forty seven cents. Trying to think where is Link? Cause I know Link is a big one. Everybody's so yeah, Link was at eesh, thirty three cents. One chain a dollar five. And then these prices were pretty if I'm not mistaken, they were pretty consistent um throughout October. So even if you look at October fourteenth, you know, Bitcoin's at sixty two. Ethereum's under two hundred dollars. So, you know, it did take some, you know, serious dips. Not crazy, like obviously Bitcoin, I don't think in the in the month of October went under five K yet. So it it basically was pretty stale, pretty sideways, just kinda of around hovering around that sixty six, sixty four range, never really getting lower than sixty two hundred. And then if you want to compare some of those with today's current um, market cap and current prices. So obviously right now, Bitcoin's at, you know, basically 8,000. Ethereum's at $169. Uh, so it's basically kind of in the same price range that it was about, about a year ago. Uh, Ripple's really down, obviously, because like I read off. Ripple was at 48 cents. Right now, it's basically at a quarter. Um, Bitcoin Cash. Pretty down. $218 right now. $517 back in October of last year. Litecoin, again, back in that $50 range. Litecoin right now is at like $53. Time to stack up on some more Litecoin. EOS. Two bucks and seventy eight cents compared to five bucks and seventy six cents last October. Finance coin again is at fifteen dollars. If that bad boy goes back to ten, that would be a nice price point to get into. That'd be a nice entry. But depending on what happens, I mean Right now, 15 is not a bad time to snag. Like I said, Binance Coin was at 30 bucks, $33 pre-summer. So, you could easily make some nice gains on that one. Stellar. Man, Stellar was... Stellar had reached almost a quarter last year. Right now, it's five cents. It's five cents, y'all. It's on sale. <laughs> Get it while it's low. Monero obviously is taking a huge dive uh, compared to where it was in October of last year. Right now it's at $55. Cardano. Uh, Cardano's at $0.03. Cents. Uh, let's see here. Dash. Ooh. Dash is really on sale. $69 compared to when it was at $180. Uh, Link. And Link has done some work, y'all. Link here is at a dollar seventy-one. Dollar seventy-one. And if you were to go back, let's see where can I find it. Yeah. So, ooh. for those of you that invested into Link last year, when it was at thirty-three cents, I applaud you. Because right now it's at dollar seventy-one. So those people are still winning, even though it's down that. So Link is one of those ones where you got to keep your eye out. So I'll mark that one down to see because, yeah, Link is right now 18. October was 56. Uh, let's see some Ethereum Classic. Four bucks and 51 cents compared to it's, you know, obviously ten dollars uh, from about a year ago uh, like I mentioned Neo Neo right now is at seven dollars uh, 
Let's see here. Let's continue to go on down. Nim. Nim's at uh Nim's almost at four cents. Nim was at ten cents. Yeah. Nim was at ten cents. A dime, a whole dime. Just a year ago. Ontology. Ooh. This is and you gotta remember too, some of these coins that I'm mentioning, you still earn some dividends. So um pay attention to those coins while they're cheap. Because if you can collect those while they're cheap and just rack up those dividends, ooh, you'll be sitting pretty. So ontology is fifty eight cents. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to grab me some because it was almost at two bucks a year ago. Just a year ago. Just not too long ago. Zcash, $37. Where was Zcash? Zcash was at $125. Uh, Bat. Bat's at $0.15 cents right now. Bat was at 17 about a year ago. But don't sleep on Bat. Bat was at, mm, I think it got close to $0.40. Cents. During the pre-summer run. Uh, V-Chain obviously still low. Quantum. Let's see where Quantum was at. Quantum was at almost four bucks. Right now it's at $1.60. ZRX. 19 cents right now. It used to be 73 cents. Almost three quarters. KuCoin shares $1.10. Again. I'm a fan of KuCoin shares just for the fact that if you hold their coin, they just give you other cryptocurrencies. So, uh, KuCoin shares, Nano's at 71 cents, and then Nano about a year ago was at $2.15. Lord have mercy. Nano's on sale. Uh, Icon's on sale. It's at 16 cents compared to its 67 cents range. So I think, yeah. And mind you, these are all like top 100 coins, yada, yada, yada. So again, I'm going to be heavily paying attention to the market for the next three months, especially October, because you never know what October, October, we could all of a sudden start to possibly see an incline. Especially going into the holiday season, cause ooh we telling y'all, man, 2017 during that holiday season, some of the craziest runs, and it was fun to be a part of. Obviously, if you're, especially, I mean, obviously, if you had money, I'm pretty sure you guys were probably like celebrating, buying all type of things. Um, but like, but right now. You got a lot of different options to pick up some coins at a pretty cheap price where you could just kind of sell them and just wait to see, obviously, where the market goes. Because a lot of people think that this next bottom that we're trying to find is going to be the bottom before we hit that next bull run. And the next bull run that could possibly, you know, jump us from like the, you know, 7,000, 8,000 range to, you know, I I predicted it it would possibly end in the 12K range in the year. You could see something like that over the next three months. Or we could potentially go back down even further, which I know some people are plotting for so they can get it at even a cheaper price. So. What I like to do is I like to mark prices, you know, especially right now, because obviously the market cap has, you know, dropped off pretty significantly compared to the last couple weeks. I mean, we're only at 212 billion compared to when we were playing with the 248, 250, all the way up to about 266 billion. So, you know, if we do go under 200 billion, I wouldn't panic. Um, I would just keep doing what i'm doing right now which is you know watching these prices closely because again when we hit certain bottoms these bottoms are not guaranteed in the future just so you guys are aware they're not guaranteed so meaning that this price 
these might be some of the best prices to get them at before we do have another run more people get involved in the space and then as we find that next bottom for that particular juncture those bottoms could be totally different from these ones or they could possibly maybe get close back but never like go back to like the 3000 4000 range which a lot of people are hoping for just so they can rack up so much more coins which you know hey I'm not going to lie I would like to see that but the chances of of us seeing that realistically ugh, just seems seems um very doubtful but again you know with this market you just never know but uh, these next three months are going to be very very exciting but again i would still say we're we're still in a bear market here guys like we're not we're nowhere near in the bull market right now still still bearish which is fine because again I've made some solid gains in a bearish market. I mean, just because you see a coin go down four or five percent, you know, within the 24 hours, guess what it could potentially do within the next 24 hours? Go back up four or five percent, or even not even 24 hours. This stuff can happen in a couple of hours, man. Like, but you just got to be on it. This has to be. Like, for me, it's a daily thing. I'm constantly checking, man, because you don't want to miss out when this thing is low and then just, boom, shoots up. Like I said earlier, think about it. Earlier this year, folks, March, Bitcoin, under 4000 We get to May, Bitcoin, 8000 Like... <laughs> Like, that's not a long time. Like, that's literally like, what, a month and some change? Like, that type of run slash gains or who? I haven't experienced one quite yet, but I'm sure with this next one, I'll get the opportunity to hopefully experience that. But, man, these things are on sale. And obviously... You know, you got to make sure you look at some of these projects because that's another thing. Some of these projects and some of their roadmaps, um, they're finally coming on to like, you know, certain things that they're dropping for the community, uh, different, you know, betas, alpha testing, um, partnerships. So, you know, you depend on which coin you follow, you you know, you, you want to see, you know, what's kind of going on, what's dropping next. Because I know uh, when... MCO uh, drop, you know, some of their like obviously like their you know debit cards stuff like that. They start getting shipped out. You start you saw a lot of movement because you know they were dropping a freaking debit card that not only me but I'm pretty sure a lot of people around the world were waiting for. And those guys are pretty hard at work. I mean, right now, if I was to go look at MCO, let's see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, so like, oh my goodness, MCO is under three bucks at two dollars and about seventy five cents, and about a year ago it was almost at five dollars. <laughs> so <laughs> again, I mean, you, you got to make sure you you keep up, man. Uh, if you got to set alerts, notifications, what it can it be? But some of these bad boys, who we haven't. It's an early Black Friday, early Black Friday sale, Cyber Monday sale, wherever you want to call it, all type of sales. I mean, that's what's happening right now. This week, going to be watching it very closely because, I mean, what? We could easily, I mean, look at this. I just refreshed it. Now Bitcoin's at 7900 this looks like it's dropping. Market cap's at currently two hundred and ten billion. So we might have an ugly Monday again. Or I could wake up and then all of a sudden Bitcoin's at eighty five hundred. I mean, these are the type of things that happen within the market. 
But if you're smart, play your cards right, invest what you're comfortable investing with. Get yourself where you can get in some different entry points. Set yourself up for some, you know, double, triple gains. You know, it's nothing like that compound interest, man. Nothing like, especially you know, if you can catch it like me right now. Uh, Litecoin, $53. I bought some at, you know, on the $60 range. Now I can just get some, I can put in another position, get in here right now. Or if I can test the waters and see if it could potentially go down to like the 40 bucks range, like $45, $47, right? I mean, that's a good pickup, especially if you're going to be holding it for a while. I mean, you hold that bad boy, wait till it gets back to maybe the $80 range. I mean, look at that. Light. EOS, I mean... <laughs> There's some of these coins where it's like, man, you've been waiting for that right opportunity to get in. I mean, Binance coin, man. Binance I, I, I knew it would go down, but I didn't think Binance coin would go down to 15 bucks. Binance coin is a... I feel like that's a, one of the sleeper exchange coins. Because, you know, when I say exchange coins, some of these exchanges have their own coin. Like KuCoin has KuCoin shares. Uh, Binance has Binance coin. Uh, Huobi has the Huobi token. So some of these exchanges coins, like their official coins, pay attention to them. Because you can, you can make some money off of them. Um, but that's going to do it for as far as the whole marketplace you know i just want to give you guys some different stats different data you know you, that you can do on your own if you wanted to i'm telling you you can go at coinmarketcap.com or you can go to coinpaprika.com i like coinpaprika as well um so i, I normally use both of those websites for all of my data and stuff like that and then coin gecko uh another Incredible website to use as far as you know tracking different prices and converting and all that stuff but again folks october november december i mean damn you think about it, the year's almost over it's crazy but october is a big month i would say personally for me and then obviously for the market you know, as a whole but i will be watching this bad boy carefully because we get around that November time frame. Let's just say Bitcoin gets to like what well, goes back to about 10,000, 11,000. Shoot, you only 1,000 off from my 12K prediction, man. Um, But definitely, I think on the next time I join you guys, I got to talk to y'all about. If y'all don't have the Electronium cloud mining app, you should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm not for sure if I've done an episode on Electronium quite yet, but if I haven't, definitely going to be doing an episode on that. Because even Electronium, I mean, a year ago was at like two cents. Right now, it's, it's not even like a penny. And yeah, Electronium's been dropping some headlines. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they just... Um, what is it? Which country is that? I don't know if it's Hungary, but there's a country where now uh, top up to top up your data for mobile phones and all that stuff is available in that country. So they're slowly starting to get you know their coin and their different um, top ups and different features that they have they're starting to get it in certain places certain different countries so it's a slow build slow build but again that cloud mining app they have which is available on the ios and the google play store I'm telling y'all that's an easy way to get some electronium you ain't gotta do anything but I think that's what I'll probably dive on into on the next next cast. But um, 
I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, man. I'm going to get on out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the podcast today. I'm hoping y'all taking, you know, some of this information and actually, you know, putting it to to use because it's all free game, man. Free game. Again, obviously, you don't have to invest or do anything with it. But don't be mad or have an attitude or anything like that when I'm talking about it. And then you go and see, like, whoa, these prices are expensive. I'm going to be like, well, you go on my episode, this is episode, what, 16 of the podcast? Go back to episode 16. You hear me talking, comparing data from basically a year ago. I mean, I I can compare data from two years ago if I really wanted to, but I'm just saying like a year, like I'm trying to tell y'all, stuff happens quickly within the space right now. We don't have a lot of people in the space right now. As we get more people into the space, these prices, man, some people some people won't be able to afford just one full coin of some of these coins. I mean, don't let the altcoins go back to some of their all-time highs. I mean, you had some altcoins that were like, I would say minimum at like $500 range and up. For just one full coin. These coins that are under a dollar, man, if you're not racking those bad boys up, what are you doing? What are you doing? Under a dollar and you can just get a a plethora of them and just hold them and just be like, all right, let's see what happens within the next five to six months, year or two. How many coins could change your life? Change your life like that. But I'm out of here, y'all. Thank you all for tuning in. Like I said, next episode, I think we're going to dive in on Electronium. And for those of you that don't know, I'm on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Castbox, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public. So about nine different platforms that you can listen to the podcast to. So I'm going to get out of here. And until next, y'all, I mean, until next time, take care, y'all.